Hey there, Treasure fans. Joe Pal BD back here again with another weekly news announcement. And this is for February 19th, 2018. So what, the third Tuesday this month? So um, welcome back. Uh, sorry there wasn't more videos last week. I know I did my... Uh, I hope you all got to see my... Uh, I finally made 100 um, subscribers um, video that was really awesome. Again, thank you guys all for making that happen. I was really excited. Um, it was kind of took me by surprise. There were several days where I hadn't gotten any anything at all it was just staying at 99 i was like no big deal no worries he's gonna keep doing my thing and then i just so happened to look on my last day of work and i looked up and was like well, wait a minute there's more than this i think there's 106 now so thank you guys all so much for making that happen again that is amazingly awesome i'm really stoked i'm more stoked than you i think i can even express so it's all because you guys you guys are watching the videos you guys are sharing it liking it commenting on it and again thank you guys i really really appreciate it so what I normally like to do with this video is, normally these videos every week I like to talk about what's coming out this week, next week, anything that's announced, which there was a couple things that were announced the last couple weeks. Hopefully you can see this video really well. I did get a new phone. Um, as part of my celebration for getting the 100 subscribers, I did get a new phone because I was having trouble with my old phone. The camera just wasn't doing what I needed to do anymore. And it just was, it, everything was running really slow on it. So I did upgrade my phone. So hopefully, this is supposed to be like close to 4K quality or 4K quality now. So hopefully it's doing good. So, um, all right, let's get started. Um, also, at the end of this video, I will show you a couple pickups I did last week. I didn't get a whole lot pickup-wise last week for new releases. I did get a major haul, which you look, uh, look down the, towards the middle of this week. I'm going to be doing a haul that I got. So, um, let's get started. So, this week, I I've actually been looking forward to this week for a few weeks for one movie in particular. So, um, the movie I've been looking forward to most, it does finally come out this week, is the movie Overlord. I really wanted to see, I think it was out October of last year, I really want to see that movie, um, just because it's War II, which I've always liked a good World War II movie, but it's like got like zombies too, so I mean, it's like a win-win for me, so that does come out tomorrow, um, also tomorrow, the other, probably the really big title coming out tomorrow is A Star is Born, now I actually back up on Overlord, Overlord a little bit, Overlord does have a DVD, a Blu-ray, and a 4K release, I don't think there's any special editions out there, as for A Star is Born, there is a couple special editions, I know for a fact there is one, for Best Buy, there's a steel book that actually looks really nice. And I believe it's either Digibook or some sort of special feature thing that they have at Target. So Target will have an exclusive as well. Um, also tomorrow, um, Robin Hood comes out. Now, that's the one that was out just a few months ago with... Um... <laughs> you guys all knew who I'm talking Jamie Foxx is one of the people that's in the movie. Um, but um, it didn't do very well in theaters. Um, although it is coming out in a steel book. So there's a Blu-ray DVD... 4K and a steel 4K steel book by Best Buy. I don't think there's anything with um, Target on that one, but um, I actually wanted to see it. I, I actually think it looked pretty good. I've always been a fan. I've I've loved all the Robin Hood movies that have come out with, especially the uh, Kevin Costner extravaganza with the song that will live on infamy. Um, but even a few years ago, when Russell Crowe did his version of Robin Hood, I really enjoyed that one as well. So I I think this is going to be a good movie. I think it just didn't get a, just get a shake that it deserved. Also tomorrow we have Young 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 Guns. That's that was a long time ago. Young Blood, which is guys Robert Robert Rob Lowe, um, which is actually a good flick. It has uh, Patrick Swayze as well. It's been a long time since I've seen this movie. I know it's about hockey. I remember really liking it. I'll definitely want to check it out again because I, I don't I don't think I've seen it since the eighties. But uh, that comes out tomorrow along with a movie called Skinner, which unfortunately I have no idea what that movie is about. Leave me a comment below if you do because I'm kind of curious. Also, Warner Archives is releasing uh, Year of the Dragon tomorrow on Blu-ray. Now, with Warner Archives, if you remember, most of those movies you can't really buy in stores. You can get it off of Amazon or you can get it off the Warner's, Warner Archives website. But typically, you're not going to see those in stores. Although, you do see them from time to time out in the hunts. Because I've found a few, usually DVDs, never really Blu-rays, that I found out in the in the field going to do my hunt. So, that comes up tomorrow. And the last one, this is just funny. It's a re-release. It's called Barbed Wire with Jenna... Um, he was Pamela Anderson. Yeah, I just thought that was kind of funny. Um, there's a lot. There's a lot of other titles coming out tomorrow, but there are a lot of Universal titles, but they're all re-releases that have been out before. I just think that there's kind of just reintroducing the title. I, I, I've seen some of these titles that are out there on the shelves already. They're saying they're re-releasing again tomorrow, so it's probably going to have some sort of little sticker on it for some movie coming up saying getting movie cash. They have a tendency to do that a lot. Um, also, actually, there is three more movies coming out tomorrow um, by Mill Creek. Mill Creek's the second wave of their... Um, um, their um, VHS retro style covers comes out tomorrow. So I know that um, Legend of Billie Jean comes out tomorrow. Uh, let's see here. Um, Neighbor, which I'm actually really excited about. It was a great John Belushi movie. And then Sheena. And the other one I think is Songwriter, the one with Willie Nelson. Those do come out tomorrow. Although 
a couple of those kind of dropped off my list. I went back and looked this morning and they weren't on the list anymore. So I don't know if they've been moved or not. I'll have to keep you updated on that. I know Billy, Legend of Billy Jean was on there, but the other ones dropped off. So I don't know whether Mill Creek at the last minute dropped them or I haven't seen anything, but they dropped off the list. So I'm not really sure what that means. Um, so that's it for this week. Next week is a pretty big week. I mean, there's one major title coming out this week and several other smaller titles. The biggest title coming out this week is obviously Ralph Breaks the Internet, which is a sequel to Wreck-It Ralph. That will be out. Uh, there's the obviously the DVD, Blu-ray, 4K. There's also a steelbook by Best Buy. And there'll be a digibook, obviously, by Target. Uh, the other title being released is another Disney title that next week, and that's The Little Mermaid. Um, same thing again, DVD, Blu-ray, 4K. There's a steelbook for Best Buy, and there is a digibook for um, Target. Um... I, I, people are probably going to hate me on this. I wasn't the biggest fan of Wreck-It Ralph. I thought it was okay. I, I, I've i seen better Disney. I thought it was just an okay movie. I know my brother really liked Wreck-It uh, Ralph Breaks the Internet. I'm sure it's a good movie. I'm sure it's a really good movie. I just never... I don't know whether it's just the characters in the movie or the, t the setup it is or something like that. I just wasn't a big fan of the first one. However, Little Mermaid, you should see what the Steelbook's going to look like. It looks beautifully amazing. Even my wife liked it. So um, I'll definitely be picking that up. I'm not... I, I own the first record, Ralph, so if I do get it, I probably won't get the Steelbook. I'll probably just get the regular Blu-ray version of it. Again, I just I wasn't the biggest fan of it. I know I know a lot of people are like, well, what do you mean you're the biggest fan of it? I just wasn't. I thought it was an okay movie. It, didn't, it was no Up. It was no, like, Sleeping Beauty. It was no, like, you know, some of these bigger ones that I've really enjoyed. So um, also next week we have, and I'm actually really excited about this, Best Buy's got Expressive... Uh, expressive... expressive <laughs> <laughs> Best Buy has an exclusive steelbook coming out for Captain Avenger, the first, um, the first Avenger, and it will be a, a 4K steelbook. It looks amazing. I am so buying it because if you don't know, I have my favorite for the DC universe, which is Superman is my favorite, but for the Marvel universe, Captain America is my favorite. So hmm, they both wear red, white, and blue, pretty much. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, so um, with that being said, um, that does come out next week. Also, the Mole People's coming out next week. Shout Factory releasing um, a uh, the movie Used Cars. We have the Mary Mary Queen of Scots comes out next week, um, along with Vengeance of She. Um, a VHS retro style cover coming, I want to say it's Severn, but I could be wrong on that, called Invasion of the Blood Farmers, which has a total retro cover, but it actually looks really cool. Never seen the movie, but the cover art looks really cool. MVD is releasing a movie called Showdown. There's another movie called Borders coming out, and the last one is Damages, the complete series coming out next week. So a pretty decent week, interesting week, you know, a couple of big animated titles along with a, sm a lot of smaller little live action titles, except for Captain America, obviously. But um, it should be a fun week next week. I'm looking forward to that as well. Now, let's talk about what was announced. Now, there were several things that were announced last week. A couple big titles and a couple more modern, um, my, uh, mild, lesser known titles. So, uh, on the 4K front, they did announce two titles for, um, uh, they announced two 4K titles. First off is uh, Godzilla. That's the Roland Emmerich Dean Devlin version of Godzilla that came out, I want to say, mid-90s. Um, I actually was a fan of it. I actually really liked that movie. It's got a lot of issues, but it's just a fun thrill ride. You just can't take it seriously. It's no, it's no Toho Godzilla, the, the, the classics, what I do love. Mothra, King Ghidra. Oh, I love those movies. I grew up on those movies. I used to watch them on Saturday afternoons all the time. But I thought it was fun. It's definitely a fun movie. Matthew Broderick's kind of zany in it, so, um, Jan Reno's in it. I mean, it's, it's a fun movie. I did enjoy it. All, and that will be out on the, wow, May 14th. Then they also announced The Witch, which my wife did not like at all. And I have yet to see it yet. Although I did pick it up on Black Friday for like, it was like three or five bucks. Um, they did announce that for 4K and that will be on the 23rd of April. Also, we have, um, let's see here. Shout Factory is going to be releasing a movie called Warning Sign coming out March 26th. Uh, let's see here. Stan and Ollie. That was the movie. It didn't, didn't move really in theaters around here, but I heard a lot of good buzz about it. That's been, an, that's coming out on the 9th of April. We have, um, let's see here. What else we got? Uh, oh, Eureka Entertainment is releasing a box set of Cujo. It looks really cool. Really soon that I was, it was one of those horror movies I saw a long, long time when I was a kid. And it was one of those flipping through channels on HBO. I didn't know what it was. Oh, it's a doggy. I started watching it and halfway through, oh, the doggy bad. And I remember just being freaked out about it. I remember my dog scared the living daylights out of me for a while there because, and I had a little, I had a little chihuahua. But um, it was just, that movie scared the daylights out of me. It was terrifying to me. It's not so much anymore. I do really enjoy the movie now, but it's kind of funny that that's coming out. I actually want to get it. And that comes out on the 29th of April. 
Um, let's see here. Uh, the bigger title's coming out, The Mule, um, which I did a review on. I'll put a link down to it down below uh, with um, Clint Eastwood. Really good movie. I really enjoyed it. That will be out on the 2nd of um, April. That same date, the other big title they announced last week will be Bumblebee. Um, which will be coming out. I know there's a Steelbook exclusive for that one by Best Buy. I'm sure there'll be something by Target as well. Um, and that one's coming out the same day, April 2nd. We're looking forward to that. If you haven't seen that, I'll put my link to that review down below too. I really love that movie. And not only that, I just read day before yesterday that uh, they've officially announced that Bumblebee is the restart of the Transformers franchise. So they're dropping the whole wiki, the whole, um, that whole, all, that whole story, and that whole, all those, was it five movies or whatever like that? Those movies are now in an alternate universe type situation, I guess, what you want to kind of call it. But now they're they're rebooted this they've rebooted the series with Bumblebee and there is another Bumblebee movie that's been announced and they're going to progress forward from there which I which I think is great because Bumblebee did what the other Transformers didn't do Bumblebee had a heart to it it had a really good story to it, it had a really good character development it didn't rely on a lot of special effects it relied on just heart and that's what I love so much about it so that one's been announced too the last two movies have been announced and I'm actually really stoked about this because I'm going through the series right now. So I've talked to you guys before about the Andy Sedaris collection. I'm going through the movies. I actually watched a couple more this weekend. Um, was it Savage Beast and Picasso Trigger? Which, oddly enough, they just announced yesterday. Those are both coming out on, on Blu-ray. They'll be out sometime later this year. Now, I know that Hard Ticket to Hawaii and Malibu Express have already been announced. If you haven't seen these movies, you really got to check them out. I am not kidding you. These movies are absolutely ridiculous. They're so far over the top. The, the 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 plots there's so many holes in the plots the plots are so unplausible it's ridiculous they keep using the same characters over and over again for each different movie so you're like you kind of get a little confused after a while like wait a minute wasn't that over there but they are they're kind of the series to the to the sequence of these movies they're just over the top they're the action is just like I was watching this one yesterday and the, the, this girl had a boomerang and she strapped like this little bomb was about this big on the boomerang and somehow made to throw it and mind you this boomerang worked perfectly went out and came back and hit the guy and exploded right. And it's like, uh, what? There's no way that would work. That bomb was huge, and it would have weighed that thing down, and it would have just gone to the ground. But it's hilarious. I mean, I love how these, they really, really are over the top. I remember watching these movies with my dad, and it's one of the reasons why I really enjoy these movies, because when I watched it with him, that's, that's some of my best memories, sitting down with him and watching these really terrible movies, and just capping on them, and just making fun of them, and just laughing. And that's what these are. So if you really like a movie like that, just over the top 80s, early 90s action flicks, they don't make too much sense. They're just... Everything's just done to the extreme. I guarantee you will love those movies. Again, you'll love those movies. And I, oh, I'm so stoked those are coming out because I'm loving them. The DVD set that I got, which is a really good set. Don't mind you, Mill Creek put, did a really good job on it because I'm quite surprised. They put two movies on each side of the disc. And I thought compression-wise, they would just be, uh, wouldn't look that good. They actually look okay. I'm really surprised. But I do want to get a couple, especially Malibu Beach and, um, and, uh, Hard to get to Hawaii because those are just the best. And I can't wait to see those in, in, in um, HD. So, that's it. What's coming out this week, next week, and what's announced. Now, uh, this last part of the same one, I just want to show you what I picked up last week. And like I said earlier, I did do a major haul this week. I I took a ton of stuff that I had had sitting around for a while, stuff I've gotten extra copies of or things that I upgrade, stuff like that. So I took this huge bag to a place called Rat Sputin Records, which is over in San Jose, which is kind of close where I live. It's about a 30, 40 mile drive. And I traded all that stuff in. I got this massive credit, so I went nuts. So um, I'll be showing you that video. That video will be later this week. But I did pick up a couple of new releases last week. Although this one was the first one I'm going to show you came out a couple weeks ago. I finally just pulled the trigger on it because I got a deal on it. And that was Goosebumps 2. Major fan of the first Goosebumps movie. I really, really liked it. Now I know this is kind of a departure and Jack Box only this a little bit. My understanding is. But I really like I really like movies like this. I, 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 just, I find them a lot of fun. They're great popcorn movies. They're great movies. Just kind of escapism. So I picked this up. I actually got this at Walmart. And the last one I picked up, and I, I told you I was going to get this, and I did. I did get the steel book of uh, Bohemian Rhapsody, which I finally saw last night. And yes, it was an amazing movie. I really, really enjoyed it a lot more than even I thought I was going to enjoy it. Um, it was a really good movie. It's got great highs. It's got great, great lows. It's, you know, it's just a really good story. And it makes me appreciate Freddie Mercury a lot more. For I didn't realize lots of that he would have had to go through in his entire life. And I know it's a Hollywood movie, so I'm sure that they did some over dramatization of scenes and stuff like that but just the overall feel of it you know I, I not only do I understand Queen a lot more but especially their lead singer and I, I feel a lot I feel bad for him I really do I think that he had to go through a lot in a time where things now are more acceptable than they were back then so if you haven't seen this Remy Malik, if he doesn't get the best actor for this movie I will be absolutely shocked 
Um, he does an amazing performance. I really felt like he was Freddie Mercury. I really did. He did such a great job. So if you get a chance, definitely watch this. Um, I guarantee you'll like it. That's all, but that's all the new releases I picked up last week. Again, there wasn't a whole lot. Um, this week, I know I'm picking up a few things. I'll be showing you next week, but that is it. So, hey, thank you guys all for watching. Leave me some comments down below. Have you seen any of these movies coming out? Are you looking forward to any of them coming out? Or are you like, what is going on here, Big D? That movie was garbage. Let me know. Leave me some comments down below. Thank you guys all because people are starting to leave more comments down. I really do appreciate those. And again, I've said this before. I'm sorry I haven't gotten back to you fast enough. I'm trying, I've been, I've upgraded my phone. I've been trying to do some stuff to make my movies, I mean, my movies, my my YouTube channel a little bit different, so I've been working on that. So I follow me behind. I promise you I'll catch up. I got this darn wreck review that I did of the wreck box set by uh, Screen Fact. I've had it sitting for three weeks. I need to post that. That will be posted this week. Along with, you'll be seeing my my Rasputin haul later this week. And I will be just saying, I did see two movies this week, so I'll be doing a review for both those movies as well. Thank you guys all for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, happy 100, and uh, I'll see you at the next 100. <laughs> Thank you guys all for watching. You guys rock. Always remember to keep keep hunting you never know what you're gonna find i'm doing this all out of order and i apologize for that click the like button if you like the video subscribe if you want to see more videos by bd along with that little bell will notify you you guys rock thank you so much and as always live long and prosper bye